Hello and welcome to today's lesson on couples, which is part of the mechanics topic in AQAA level physics. So in today's lesson, we're going to try to calculate properties of couples based on the equilibrium laws. So if we've been successful and learned in today's lesson, we should be able to describe the support force on a pivoted body, understand the forces and moments on a body in equilibrium and explain what is meant by a couple. So we're looking at the following part of the AQAA level physics specification on mechanics, which is 3.4.1. 1.2 moments. So a couple is a pair of forces acting on a body that are of equal magnitude in opposite direction, acting parallel to one another but not along the same line. So forces acting in this way will produce a turn of force or a moment. Now the torque of a couple is the rotation force or the moment produced. So the forces on this beam shown here are a couple and producing they, they will produce a moment or torque which will cause the beam to rotate. So if the object is in equilibrium then the moments and forces in a couple are balanced. So to clarify, a moment, sorry, a couple is a pair of forces of equal size which act parallel to each other but in opposite directions, as shown in the following diagram here. Now a couple has no resultant linear force because the two forces will cancel each other out. But a couple does have a turning effect, a moment, as they're acting in the same direction. So in this case, you can see that the moment produced is going to cause this object to rotate anti-clockwise because they're going to cause that anti-clockwise rotation. So, the size of the moment depends on the size of the forces and the distance between them. So the moment of the couple is equal to the force times by the perpendicular distance between the lines of action of the two forces. So in this case, the moment is equal to force times by d, the distance. Now, as we mentioned before, a couple is a pair of forces of equal size which act parallel to each other but in opposite directions. So the moment is determined by the perpendicular distances between the lines of action of the two forces forces. So this means that the horizontal component of the displacement of that perpendicular distance needs to be calculated if a couple is at an angle as shown in this diagram. So to answer questions on couples you should use the following technique. So the first thing to do is to identify the forces on the objects causing moments and if acting at an angle ensure the force is resolved into the horizontal and the vertical. The second step is to always include the weight from the centre of mass if not explicitly stated. You then will take the moments about one point and ensure that this point is where a force is and ignore that force. Equate the anti-clockwise and, and uh, clockwise moments or the up-down moments and then solve the equation based on this. Now the force that we ignored previously can be calculated by using the equilibrium principle that force up equals force down. So if we consider the following object on this screen, the two forces balance each other. So you can see there's 15 newtons acting upwards and 15 newtons acting downwards. So the wheel will not move up, down or sideways because in that instance, the two forces are cancel each other out. However, the wheel is not in equilibrium because these pairs of forces will cause it to rotate. So there's a resultant moment. So we say that the pair of forces act as a couple. So a couple, like we said, has a turn effect but does not cause an object to accelerate by changing speed, but by rather changing direction. So to form a couple, the two forces must be equal in magnitude, parallel, but in the opposite direction, and separated by a distance d. Now, like we said before, the turn and effect, or the moment of a couple, is known as its torque. And we can calculate the torque of, of the wheel, in this case, by adding the moments of each force about the centre of the wheel. So in this case, we can say the torque of the couple is 15, the force times by the distance to the centre, which is 0 0.2, plus the moment of the other force, which is 15 times by 0 0.2, which you can see is 6 newton metres. We could have also found this, the, the same result, by multiplying just one of the forces by the perpendicular distance between them. So the torque of the couple is 15 times by 0 0.4, the distance between that separates the lines of action of the two forces. Okay, so we 15 times by 0 0.4, which is 6 newton metres. So to summarise what we've covered in today's lesson, we should know that the moment of a force about a point and understand what that is, understand that a moment is defined as force times by perpendicular distance from the point to the line of action of the force. We should understand the principle of moments and understand a couple as a pair of equal and opposite coplanar forces which cause an overall turning effect on an object. So if we've been successful and we've learned in today's lesson, we should be able 
to describe the support force on a pivoted body. Understand the forces and moments on a body in equilibrium and explain what is meant by a couple. So thank you very much for watching this lesson on couples, which is part of the mechanics topic in AQAA level physics. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.